great. Question six. The diagram shows this lovely curve, like a mushroom or something, with um, this equation. At each other points, P and Q, the tangent to the curve is parallel to the y-axis. Find the coordinates of P and Q. Look, there's not many words, but there's loads of stuff in here, isn't there? Okay. Um, the first thing that we get, just by a quick read through, is look, the points P and Q. Each of the points P and Q, at those points, y is greater than zero, because they're not the only points where the tangent is vertical. It's vertical there and then as well. So we're looking for when y is greater than zero and we have the <laughs> tangent. And the, the tangent of the curve is parallel to the y-axis. Remember what that means. If it's parallel to the x-axis, it's when, dx by, when y by dx is zero. If it's parallel to the y-axis, that means dx by dy is zero. Okay? So our aim is going to be to find where dx by dy equals zero. Now, a, a couple of you threw me with this because a couple of you differentiated this with respect to y, which I wasn't expecting. Because you thought ahead and you thought, I need when dx by dy is zero, so if I differentiate with respect to y, I'll get dx by dy. It was quite smart. It, it, it took me a moment to work out what you were doing, because I wouldn't have expected you to do that. But it worked. I did it, as I think most of you would have done it, by differentiating with respect to x. So if we differentiate through with respect to x, we get 2x from the x squared, Differentiate y cubed, well I'm, I'm going to do this in two lines just so that we can see what we're doing with respect to x. Differentiate minus 8x with respect to x, we get minus 8. And we're going to differentiate um, 12y with respect to x, and 4 of course goes to 0. So that's where we started from. So we're going to get 2x, well hang on, this bit, remember if you're differentiating a y thing with respect to x, we use the chain rule and say we differentiate it with respect to y and times it by dy by the x. If you differentiate y cubed with respect to y, you get 3y squared times dy by the x. And same thing here, if we differentiate 12y with respect to y, we get 12, so that's 12 dy by the x. Zero. We now need to collect like terms together carefully. We've got 3y squared minus 12, lots of dy by the x, and we've got an 8 minus 2x that we're going to show over to the other side, which gives us dy by the x is 8 minus 2x over 3y squared minus 12. And, and of course, um, if you've done that the other way, at this point you end up with dx by dy equals the reciprocal of that. So, remember what the question said. The tangent of the curve is parallel to the y-axis. That means dx by dy equals zero. If dx by dy equals zero, that means 3y squared minus 12 over 8 minus 2x equals zero. The reciprocal of dy by dx is zero. We don't care about the bottom line of that. All we care about is 3y squared minus 12 being zero which we can solve quite nicely, that's y squared minus 4. So it gives us y is plus or minus 2. And then we get the other bit that we noticed when we read the question to start with. The question talked about p and q. So these two points here must be the, where y is plus 2. And these two points here must be the points where y is minus 2, must not they? So we're not interested in them. y is positive. So we're interested in y being plus 2. We need to find the coordinates of those points. So we're going to have to sub this y equals 2 back into our original equation. So if we sub it back in, we get x squared plus, was it y cubed? So 8 minus 8x. Uh, was it minus 12y? Yeah equals 4, I think we had. So we've now got a quadratic in x to solve, which gives us x squared minus 8x 
bring everything over to one side, of course, um, minus, what is it, minus 12? Have I done that right? No, minus 20. Is that, uh, have I got that right now? Yeah. Um, which factorizes really nicely x minus 10 x plus 2, so x equals 10, or minus 2 of our solutions. And the question did say, find the coordinates. And actually, we know which is which as well. So p is the one where x is negative. So p is the point minus 2, 2. And q is the point where x is positive. So 10, 2. And there, then. It was quite nice once you got through it, wasn't it? Thank you.